trumpeter swans, one of the largest flying birds in the world. Uh, the males, called cob, the cob, uh, can get up to a, a 30 pounds in weight with a seven foot wingspan and be around five feet long. The females, called the pen, are smaller in size but still fairly big. With all those feathers, a lot of cleaning is required. Uh, this flock was uh, filmed out on, at Port Severn, the lock system. The water stays open there, uh, more or less all year round. It's interesting watching them. They uh, all do this, they dive under, pop back up clean their feathers. <laughs> Seems like an awful lot of work. Canadian geese up there swimming around, um, but the swans, yep, just amazing to watch. A lot of them still napping up at the top of the ice. It was early morning when I filmed this. Originally, they were native to Ontario, but uh, over 200 years ago, they were uh, just wiped out by hunters and loss of uh, habitat. In 1989, uh, they reintroduced them, and the first signet born was in 1990 called Pigpen. Oh, here's these little guys. <laughs> Golden eyes. Um, they're diving ducks, they eat mollusks and crayfish and wood other all those other little things that are down at the bottom of the lake. Again, quite interesting to watch them. Up. Oh. <laughs> oh, that one's got something. It looks like uh, uh, some kind of mollusk. There's the trumpeters. You can definitely, you know why they uh, work, are called the uh, trumpeter swans, just by their beautiful voice. <laughs> It uh, was quite cold out this morning with the wind blowing, and, but uh, well worth it. The young swans, uh, you'll see one here now, uh, gray, are called cygnets. And he was probably born in the last spring, and he was, he's this big now. He's, you can definitely see the size difference from the adult. And the uh, males are the bigger birds, uh, but the cygnets definitely are, you can tell by the gray and their size. They seem quite at home. Uh, the, the cold water and the ice don't doesn't seem to bother them whatsoever. Uh, same with the golden eyes, they uh, continue to bop up and down. Yeah, but hopefully they are back into uh, in Ontario to stay. Uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous birds to watch. 
Uh, I didn't get any in flight today. They take a long run, running start, uh, and they need water to take off. So these guys are just hanging out in the middle of winter, and uh, I hope the future is bright for them because they are just uh, very magnificent birds.